Hello friends, good morning, this is Bhupati. In this video, we are going to see how can we get the exception source using retro activity. That is, how can we get the activity name on which exception has occurred exactly. Earlier in one of my playlist, I would have explained how can we get the exception dot source. But in that video, we will not be used any try catch activity in the child example. But in this video, we can see how can we use the retro activity and get the exception dot source and exception dot message. To explain this scenario, I have just used the two workflows. Workflow one, this is our main workflow, and then workflow two. What I am going to do means I am going to invoke workflow two. Okay, workflow two dot xaml from the workflow 1. Now I will open this. In workflow 2 XAML, I am intentionally making system exception by passing the string value in the delay activity. So it will not, it will try to convert it into seconds and throw an error. Once it throws an error, it comes to the exception part, system exception part. Here we are throwing the system exception dot message and then exception dot source. But when we throw this exception, it will control will come to the parent workflow, and then in log message you cannot see the exception dot source. Here the exception dot source is this activity. Delay three seconds or flow two. This is the source that is on which activity the exception has occurred. This is your exception dot source, but you cannot see this activity name. You can just see only activity exception source as throw. Okay. So that is the limitation when you use the throw activity. Or even if you don't throw and collect the exception message also, you will not get the exception source. Now I will run. Let's check what actually exception message and source is displaying. Now exception has happened on the source delay 3 seconds this activity in workflow 2. Now I will give step into it will come to the catch part. The system exception catch part in workflow 2. Now I will give step into ok. You can see exception source is not displaying the actual activity name. Only you are getting the exception message string was not recognized as valid time span. Now I am giving step into now control has come to the main workflow that is workflow 1. I will give step into now in the main workflow it has come to the catch part that is system exception. Here you have exception dot message exception dot source. Again here you will not get the actual source. You are just getting the source name as throw activity. That is this activity name. But the actual exception has occurred in the activity that is in this delay activity. I will continue. Now it will get completed. Now we will see how can we get the actual exception source that is activity display name and then exception message using retro activity. Now in workflow 2 you can see I am going to remove this throw activity and there is no activities inside system exception and business rule exception. I am going to drag and drop the retro activity. So retro activity it cannot give anything. It can it will just retro the exception. And I'm giving the same here business rule. Okay. Now what we are going to do, we are intentionally invoke both is business exception and then system exception also.
now in both system exception and business rule exception you can see we have only one log message the log message is displaying exception dot message and exception dot source in both system and business rule exception in the main workflow that is workflow one now i will run okay now in this activity exception has occurred that is delay 3 seconds in this delay activity and we should know this activity name now i will give step into it will come to the system exception part and it just rethrowing that exception now it control will go to the workflow 1 okay in workflow 1 now it comes to the system exception in the catch block in the main workflow now we can see now the log message i will zoom and show you string was not recognized as valid time span exception source you can see clearly delay three seconds workflow two so this is the activity name on which exception has occurred by this way you will be able to get the actual activity name using retroactivity and then you, again if you want to pass this uh, exception source and message to some other workflow you can just throw and then use this exception message and source as one single exception message to some other workflow and it will get carry forward i'll continue now okay it is completed now we will throw business exception Now we are going to throw business exception. So in workflow 2, just one string variable is there. If the string variable equal to modern process, now we are going to throw business exception. Okay. Now in exception dot source we will get this activity name. And then actual exception message we have given inside this proactivity please process manually this is the exception message now i'll return business exception has occurred in the workflow 2 now it has come to main workflow because it rethrow the exception in the workflow 2 ok it's got completed you can see exception message please process manually exception source on which activity the exception actually occurred this is the activity name throw business exception in workflow 2 on this activity only exception occurred exactly Even you can use the multiple try catch block and also can test it. Now I will just use one more try catch. So this is parent try catch here. Again we will use system exception and business exception. Now in catch block. Now I will use throw activity in main workflow. Okay. In the throw activity, we will pass the exception message as Exception dot message is exception message and exception source means 
description the source cut for again okay done now you see in the child workflow that is sorry in the child try catch block in the main workflow one I am just throwing what all the exception we got from workflow 2 okay here in workflow 2 it just rethrows the exception and when it gets rethrown we will be able to get the exception message and exception source again now I am throwing it and it will come to the parent catch block and display the message now we will just simply use the exception message here let's see what it space parent try catch exception dot message so in parent try catch you can see exception dot message as both exception message and exception source now we will run okay there it will throw business exception we will change this value now we'll run so now exception will happen in the delay activity okay it has occurred step into i will give it will come to the catch block of the workflow 2 so now we have used retro activity control goes back to workflow 1 okay first it will go to the child catch block in child catch block we are just throwing with exception message and exception dot source now it will go to the parent catch block in system exception okay now we come to the parent catch block now step into you can see exception message string was not recognized as a valid time span and the exception source you can see you are getting exception source the activity name this is how you can get the activity name using retro activity if you like this video please subscribe and support our channel friends thank you